I want to show you how you can use Dynamics GP to track lot numbers through the manufacturing process. This is going to be a deep bill. I'm going to use a bill that has four different levels. Here's a finished good item right here. Let's take a look at the bill of material. I can expand this and go down to the different levels. Here's level two, level three, and then at level four here, I've got this lot control item right here. So what I've done is I've created all the sub-assemblies and the final good assembly that includes this lot number. So what I want to do is I want to track this lot number from the receipt all the way up to the finished good, and then we'll track it back from the finished good down to the lot. So let's take a look at it. To do the lot tracking, we're going to go to the inventory area page, go to inquiry, and then serial lot trace. I'm going to look at all the transactions for a particular lot number. Select that. And here's the item number I'm going to track. I'm going to redisplay this. It'll pull up all the lot numbers I have. Here's this one. Let's track this lot number and see where it ends up. So I get this screen. It shows me a receipt coming in from the vendor. Second line here. And then it shows the manufacturing receipt. Let's drill back to the bill of material and see where this lot number was used. And what I want to do is I want to select produced from this serial lot. So here's the item number I'm going to trace, 01501-2031, and here's the lot number. And you can see here, this is going to go through several processes. Here's the first manufacturing process to create the subassembly. And the subassembly production created this lot here. And then there was another subassembly manufacturing process, which created this lot here. And there was another manufacturing process that created this lot here. And this is the finished good item, 500011. And this was shipped out on these three invoices. So let's take a look at one of them. And here's the document to Adam Park. I can drill back and see the document ID. And this is the finished good item right here. So this successfully showed tracing a lot number item up four levels in the bill of material to the finished good item. Now let's go back the other way. I'm going to use the serial lot trace inquiry window again. Select all transactions for a lot number. And this time I'm going to select the finished good item. Redisplay it. And this is the finished good lot number. I want to trace back to the component item. So let's trace it back. This time we're going to go from the top to the bottom. And when we do this, we're going to select consumed into the serial lot. This finished good item, 500011 was created by this manufacturing receipt here, which consumed these items and lot numbers. There's four lot controlled item numbers here. Let's go down and look at this particular item. This item was created by this manufacturing receipt, which consumed these items and lot numbers. Let's track this down further. It's created by this sub-assembly here. We can open that up. You see that use this number here. And that was created in this manufacturing receipt here. Here I trace from the finished good item down three layers to the component lock controlled item. And this shows you how flexible Dynamics GP manufacturing can be to control and track lot and serialized numbers.